so. Hello, my beautiful butterflies. I actually believe I found my community name, which is very bizarre and took some self-reflecting. But today is mid-April, to be honest. I don't know what day the what date it is but it is wednesday mid-april and um i wanted to update you guys let me turn off the air conditioning so you guys can't hear that but it has been a whirlwind of a month and i want to say welcome to i think we have about 50 new subscribers so thank you for subscribing even though my content has not been uploaded as a normal channel would um I just feel like the shades are very impersonal. So we're gonna take them off um, so you can see me and all my mask knee glory. Well, this isn't a mask knee, that's just, you know, not washing off my eyebrows. Anyways, um, I'm currently filming in a Starbucks parking lot because I felt like I needed to upload this video. I actually had a quick conversation with somebody that I met yesterday that really helped clear things up for me for the path forward in this whole internet space um i really want to like lean back but um i'm in my car and so we're at starbucks i need to catch up on my emails and do all those kind of things but this video is going to be about the last month and where this channel and my image i don't want to say brand because i'm not a huge conglomerate so we're going to say where my brand is heading so um there are quite a few of you that have been following my youtube channel and or instagram for about two years now um a lot of you were introduced to me from a video that i did with allure magazine for their youtube channel for a day in the life of a flight attendant um it's part of their work it series uh where professional women take you from when they wake up to when they go to bed and how things are described and how they do things throughout their day and um i didn't realize it was going to blow up and be as big as it was i think that video has about seven million views last time a friend checked for me um so that is crazy a lot also has happened in the last two years specifically the last i want to say year and a half due to the virus that shall not be named because YouTube and other social media platforms do not like that um, hmm, word. So anyways, um, yeah, so my, my brand, my image was what I did for a living. Um, this isn't a video saying that I'm no longer a flight attendant because I still am. <laughs> I definitely still am. Um, I have flown the entire panorama and sorry like i said i'm in a parking lot and um i in december i posted a video i think after december in december i had some life updates and some things in december i had the flu um and also got ghosted and had a part-time job that let me go and all of these other things january rolls around crazy got hired from another part-time job i also work at a hotel now because i really wanted to diversify my income source with this panorama happening i saw how fragile the industry that i work in can be and events occur every 10 to 12 years anyways when i think about it in that space and i've known a lot of flight attendants and pilots that have been furloughed like two or three times because they've been in the industry for about 35 years so i just thought it'd be smart to have more than one source of income like solid income not just social media income um and now that i get closer to finishing my college degree i'm under i think i have 17 credits left something like that under 20 credits um i see myself finishing that degree this year or by january of next year not saying that i want to quit being a flight attendant because i don't um i love the flexibility i love doing something different every day i love meeting people and i love being in new cities and traveling so we're going to keep what i 
have in that aspect but i thought that if i ever got into this situation again or if i wanted to move up in the hotel industry which i i did work at a hotel before i was a flight attendant as well as on the ramp for airlines um that i would be able to step into another space with a bachelor's degree as i already have an associate's degree but it's in music and um i don't see myself in music education maybe working at a theater doing lighting or something but anyways so yeah it is boiling right now in this car um i'm hot and i turned the air conditioning off so you guys could hear me and i'm also using an airpod but anyways um so i wanted to diversify my portfolio of working but then i also noticed mid panorama that my image my brand who i was portraying myself to be on social media was what i did for a living and i never wanted those two things to be connected as much as it was i don't mind sharing layovers with you guys and things that i'm wearing on layovers and friends that i fly with or visiting family on layovers all those things i don't mind but i did not want to feel this constant pressure to be perfect looking or appear perfect in the job that i have when the job that i have has been going through struggles for the past year and a half due to the panorama and um uh, being so primped up and ready to post photos in uniform and to show you the sunset in different cities and right now i'm flying to boston connecticut jersey occasionally the west coast don't get to stay in those real tropical nice places that people were so interested to see um in my line of work so i just i don't like that pressure i also don't like having to feel like i have to be so politically correct every time i post on my socials because my brand was connected to my employer that's just what it was nothing nobody got in trouble nothing like that i'm gonna drink some coffee because it's ice and i'm hot but i just didn't want that pressure i've seen it go sideways for people or i've seen people who decided to leave the industry or who got furloughed and decided they didn't want to come back and now their entire image brand and community is somewhat crumbling or a percentage of it is crumbling because of the panorama and because it's not what people signed up for so my new direction I'm trying to use the right words is just towards what i've been even in the allure video um a confident curvy woman um i've been at every scale of curvy but showing people that you don't have to be the cookie cutter image to do what they think you need to do whether that be modeling going out for jobs going out on dates feeling self-confident dressing real nice on a budget for curvy women which a lot of people think is very very hard which it is a challenge to shop but it, it can be done my entire outfit is from forever 21 plus my earrings are three dollars from h&m and my shoes are 24 dollars for h&m my entire outfit is less than 70 bucks and i look dang cute today earrings top i had to fold it over because your girl ain't got no neck so cute flats i post a lot of um outfit of the days and curvy inspirations on instagram and on tiktok so follow um i do post a lot of stories on instagram so if you want to keep up with me that way I suggest you join the community of butterflies, which I'm going to call you guys, because I am a butterfly in the sky, and I have finally come out of my cocoon um, fully as a 28-year-old female, um, and people ask me how I do it, and to be honest, I faked it until I made it with confidence, and that's usually what I get people saying I find you so attractive or I find you so inspirational or I can't believe you're doing that being at where you are because of my confidence and how I portray myself and how I hold myself and how I look at the world so yeah that's our new direction for this channel confidence I will throw in layovers if I have really good ones um here and there with edited videos and things like that um keep you updated on my school how that's going and um i'm not gonna post about my hotel because that's way too personal um i'd be scared that somebody would show up at my actual job on the ground and it'd be awkward so but that not not saying that i don't want to say hi or hello how are you 
all those kind of things. Um, I do. If you see me in person and it's an organic experience, like I'm somewhere and you happen to be there. I live in South Florida. Um, or if I'm on a layover and you see me or on a plane and you see me and you follow me, please, by all means, say hello, my beautiful butterfly. Please. Not to me, but my beautiful butterfly. If you see me in person, say hello. Because I like to see people and don't feel like I'm a whole nother person because I'm not. I'm a normal person and I like to communicate with people and I walk past my car and then look back like that. Ugh. Heebie jeebies. So yeah, please say hi if you see me in person. Um also another update. Um I was planning on videoing the last few layovers that I had, but your girl caught Rona. Not at work, not at either of my jobs. I caught it from a friend's family member which is it happens i went through absolute hell for about a week but within in less than two weeks i was fine and i tested negative so thank the lord jesus that that happened but yeah so i just wanted to come on here and update you say hello welcome to the 50 something new people who decide to subscribe although there hasn't been a new video in almost two months um thank you for all the positivity light and love that you give to me online and in my dms and all of those other things and comments on my photos but i just want to make sure that you guys are passing it forward to people in your everyday life and not just on social media so that's my slogan um so welcome you guys are now known as butterflies because it just fit and it felt right and um make sure to follow me on instagram and on tiktok i try to post as frequently as i can on those and um hopefully with more consistency here on youtube and i'm sorry that i'm looking at myself my actual canon camera um everything is in line of sight on my phone i feel like i'm looking at myself to make sure i'm in focus but then i know the camera's over that side but anyways bye guys Tell me what it is, don't tell me what it ain't They try to throw salt, it just made the pressure in